skinny. Yeah, they're very um, sort of lean, very athletic animals, built for long distance running. This is beautiful, guys. Are they stronger than a, a dog, a regular, like a Rottweiler or? Um, uh, it'd be hard to say, but I don't think, maybe not stronger in terms of brute force, but much more athletic. Like they are some of the most energetic and almost hyperactive animals, extremely um, capable of long, uh, long endurance running. Mm -hmm. That's so cool. It's a big pack. Very nice big pack. Look at that one there with the leg. See the impala leg in that one's mouth. Beautiful guys And it's very special to come across these guys We're very lucky in the Klaseria and Timbavati to see these guys fairly regularly Because they are highly endangered I mean they're the second most endangered predator in Africa Yeah What's that? It's too nice, my dear One time How do you tell? Yeah. Um, you, you're gonna have to look at the, the obvious sections. <laughs> no. Um, so just like wolves, these are uh, essentially our painted wolves, the African wolf. Um, they'll have an, an alpha pet. Um, that that is the ranking, and they'll be the ones that breed and breed the pack. Camouflage there. We drove straight past that one. So pack sizes vary um, quite a bit. They can be as small as four, um, but be as large as thirty plus. Um, they are. Endangered because they don't maintain a territory. They they're free roaming. So what happens is sometimes they'll they'll leave an area completely, and then they're also very good at getting under fences and going into rural areas. We were indeed. They are used to the vehicles, yeah, you can see it's not interfering.